What's going on guys, Mickle here, and in this video we are getting into some XRP technical analysis. Guys, XRP is by far the most undervalued high cap crypto in the entire crypto market. I think it is critical to be paying attention to XRP right now because it is one of the few top tier digital assets that you can still buy on a discount right now. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all that evidence as well as when I think XRP is going to break out and how parabolic the price chart is going to get. If you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure you like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, well for those of you who don't know, I was recently on vacation for about a week. It was really nice to take some time off, but I'm super excited to get back into daily uploads. So if you guys are big fans of the channel, just know more consistent content will start coming back out on this channel and I'm super excited to start making videos again. Well, I wanted to start off from my time away by jumping into the XRP price chart because we haven't covered it in a while and I think there's been some super interesting developments and some things we really need to be paying attention to right now. I also found a new chart that you guys need to see. It's pretty crazy. We're going to get into that at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stick around for that. I think it's really important. I want to start off though by just doing a little recap of what we're watching on the XRP price chart right now. We can see right now XRP is still within this massive symmetrical triangle. We've been watching play out for about a year now. We can see that XRP is really hanging out on the bottom of this symmetrical triangle right on the support line right now. It is absolutely critical that XRP is able to hold this support line right here and eventually pull off of it and back into the center of this symmetrical triangle. I say this all the time on this channel, but the more time we spend touching this bottom support line, the better chance we have of breaking to the downside and falling out of this symmetrical triangle. While I do not believe that will happen for reasons I will list at the end of this video, I just want to say what would be extremely bullish and what we all want to see happen is for XRP to push off of the bottom of this support line and start trending back in the center of this symmetrical triangle. Once XRP is able to pull off of this bottom support line, its next phase is to come back up here and touch this top resistance line. Once it gets to this point, then XRP is going to be in a very good place again. Once we're back up here, just like down here, the more we start to push on top of this top resistance line, the better chance we have of breaking out to the upside and for the price to get extremely parabolic. We know when XRP goes into these symmetrical triangles, like it is right now, the price tends to move fast and very quickly. We can see back here, XRP was in a huge symmetrical triangle, and I'll just draw it for you roughly real quick so you guys can see it better. And when XRP broke out, the price action was massive. XRP consolidated for about 231 days here, and then went on to run about 1,300%. Right now, XRP is currently consolidating for a period even longer than the triangle I showed you back here. Therefore, it is my expectation that the price could get even more parabolic than it did back here. This would put us well past a $10 XRP and is one of the reasons why I believe XRP is one of the safest high cap cryptos to be accumulating right now. Well, not only the XRP price is looking extremely bullish, but we also know that it is very undervalued in the market as a whole. And how do we know that? Well, we know other coins like Ethereum and Bitcoin are well past their all-time high. If we take a look at where Ethereum is in comparison to its 2018 all-time high, we can see that it's trading over almost 172 percent over its previous all-time high back in 2018. If we take a look at where XRP is trading, we can see that XRP is actually trading about 300 percent below its previous all-time high. This is critical because we know that XRP and Ethereum are both top-tier digital assets in this market. The only difference is, is that XRP currently is being attacked by a phony lawsuit by the SEC 
and that is causing the price of XRP to be suppressed relative to other cryptocurrencies. But if there's one thing we know for sure, it's that this lawsuit with the SEC will end, and when it does, XRP is going to have to catch up to the rest of the market to make it more fairly valued compared to its competitors. We know that just going back to its previous all-time high would be extremely bullish, and those who accumulated now before the lawsuit was over would be poised to make 300% gains with XRP just simply reclaiming a lot of its lost value. But I think it's very important to point out that XRP will likely need to do a lot more than just get back to its all-time highs to be fairly valued in the market. If XRP was to make a move similar to what Ethereum has recently done, it would put it at about around the $10 range, and this would make XRP fairly valued in the market. But I also want to point out that just because that's where XRP would be fairly valued in the market right now, it doesn't mean that can't change by the time XRP breaks out. If we take a look right now, XRP is holding very well on this bottom support line, as I pointed out earlier in this video. But we see coins like Ethereum, which control a lot of the market right now because of how much value it has in it, trending slightly down and moving lower. I think it's very obvious that Ethereum and Bitcoin Bitcoin are currently putting a lot of pressure on the market and causing coins like XRP to be suppressed and kind of stay down in these lower levels. The very bullish thing is, is XRP is still holding this bottom support line very well, despite the fact that Ethereum is making lower lows and continuing to trend down. I have a feeling once Ethereum is able to regain itself and start pushing back up to its previous all-time high, I think we're going to see a lot of pressure pulled off coins like XRP. What this will allow is for XRP to get out of this danger zone we're currently in right now and move back to this support line where it could break out and move itself back to where it should be to be fairly valued in the market. So what proof do we have to compare how undervalued XRP is compared to a coin like Ethereum? Well, I really wanted to show you this tweet right here by Stefan Hubert, and this shows, and it might be a little hard to see, I'm sorry about that, but this shows XRP directly compared to Ethereum. As we can see, this is where the SEC lawsuit was right here. Before the SEC lawsuit took place, XRP was a vastly outperforming Ethereum. Then, out of nowhere, the SEC came in with a lawsuit and sued Ripple and directly attacked XRP. This caused a ton of value to flood out of XRP and caused it to actually drop under the performance of Ethereum, and Ethereum then started performing X outperforming XRP. So what am I trying to show you by telling you this? What I'm trying to tell you is that XRP will once again outperform Ethereum when this artificial sell pressure and this FUD is taken out of XRP. This lawsuit has been going on for a year and it's very close to being finished. When it does, all the value that should have been flowing into XRP and all the people who sold out of XRP when they are scared of the consequences of this lawsuit are going to flood back in. Not only that, XRP could be the only cryptocurrency in the entire market with full-on regulatory clarity. This will cause a ton of value to flow back into XRP, and I think it is extremely obvious that this will cause the XRP price chart to once again at least catch up, if not then go to outperform what Ethereum has done. We know that this would cause massive profits for XRP holders and likely put XRP in the $10 region. What I'm telling you though, is this would only make XRP fairly valued. It does not even account for the fact and my belief that XRP is actually a better digital asset than Ethereum and Bitcoin. Therefore, XRP, in my opinion, has a floor value of $10 right now and needs to reach that level to be fairly valued in this market. 
This is why I'm accumulating XRP. The fundamentals are insane. Smart contracts are coming to XRP. Flare is coming to XRP. ISO 20022 is coming to XRP. I think we're going to see clarity in the lawsuit. I think 2022 is going to be our year and the year that XRP is able to break out of this triangle and begin to gain its value back in the market. I think of those who didn't accumulate XRP during these times, those who were too scared are going to be buying tops and not going to be able to get a bag of XRP filled before it's too late. Guys, thank you so much for listening. If you're still here, make sure you like and subscribe. It means so much. No, I have more consistent content coming back out. I missed making these videos. I'm excited to be back. Thank you so much. And for now, make